You need to learn a new craft because you can't always depend on other people for your growth. Let's talk about it. What's up everybody, welcome back to the X Villain Hideout. My name is Ghost and I'm so glad you're here. Today we are gonna be talking about something that is much needed and that is learning a new craft so that you can be more in charge of your brand. This is a channel where we talk about the games we play, the lives we live, and how we look for ways to constantly encourage each other to be better than yesterday, one stream at a time, one day at a time. If you guys feel like you vibe with that, I would appreciate a like on this video and subscribe to the content so you can see more of stuff like this and hit the little bell if you wanna be notified when our stuff goes live. But it's time to get into the video. I think there's a lot of like um, wrong thinking when it comes to trying to figure out what it actually cost to grow and what it actually cost to go full time. Because I think after talking to many, many people, everyone's goal for the most part, unless you're just a very casual streamer, is to eventually go full time. And in order to do that, obviously you need to grow your platform and other platforms to help grow this platform, right? I've spent hours upon hours learning how to edit videos, how to make thumbnails look decent, um, how to make small highlight videos that I can post on Twitter that kind of um, magnify who I am as a person so people can see these one minute segments of my stream and say, hey, I actually wanna check out one of his streams or hey, I actually wanna go check out his YouTube channel. And there's so much time that goes in behind the scenes to make this stuff happen. So I wanted to talk about it because I feel like people are frustrated right now um, and you guys might be in a place where you feel like, man, I just can't grow. But a lot of that has to do with what your stream looks like and what is actually happening behind the scenes to make your stream grow online. How do you make more content that people wanna see more of? How do you create a stream that people can't wait for you to go live? Like, what does that look like? And sure, we can look at these people who are partners right now and are really big streamers, but the thing is, is we don't know how they got there. We don't know what happens behind the scenes. So what we have to do is we have to look at where streaming, where content creation, where YouTube, where all that stuff is right now and realize that what happened back in the day, five to eight years ago, isn't gonna cut it for what's happening right now. The bar has been raised. A long time ago, people were making YouTube videos and people were streaming, like I said, about five to eight years ago. And it was very minimal setups were getting a lot of attention because one, this was something that was new to everybody and two, there wasn't a lot of people putting out content with custom stuff. So if you had a custom webcam frame, it didn't really matter if it was animated or not because it was custom and it looked cool and people didn't really care about that yet. Now people have an opinion. Um, streaming and YouTube has evolved. Now when you see people on YouTube, for instance, their first video comes out like with straight LED lights, um, perfect lighting, perfect angles, really nice camera, like their intros and outros are completely set. Like you see their first video and you're like, wow, that, that, that was really good. And it didn't used to be like that, but the bar has been raised because there's so many people now pushing to be a creator on the internet because of many different reasons. One is they don't actually know what it costs to be a creator, so they wanna do something that is not their real job and they wanna get a job doing content creation because it looks fun and they get paid a lot of money as they see. We have people starting their very first stream with Elgato key lights, they have a green screen, they have a nice camera, um, they have LifeX beams in the back or light strips or cubes. I mean, all this stuff is happening on people's very first stream. They're not affiliate, they have five followers and their stuff looks amazing. So we have to look at that and we have to realize that that is where the bar is. Now, do you have to have all of this super nice gear and super nice stuff to become a streamer that people care about? No, of course not. Um, does that stuff help? It does help, but you still have to work on your actual content and your actual content is you, is, is you on stream. How are you with responding to chat? What kind of games are you playing? How are you interacting with everybody else? Because this is the thing, people come to your stream because they want a relationship with you. They come here 
because they enjoy your content, but they also enjoy the relationship that you guys have. So how are you adding to that relationship? And then it comes into like, what kind of perks do people get for coming to your stream? Do you have anything interactive on your stream? Is there things that are moving on your stream versus things that are stagnant and, and so forth? So in the midst of all of that, I just wanted to bring up this video because you guys need to learn a new craft. I talked to too many people in messages who wanna grow and they ask me because we're friends. I'm not like a stream coach and like a, a stream growth guru. Like I understand I'm not partner and people say like, you're not even partner and you don't even have, you barely have 500 followers. And with that aside, the biggest thing that I see is people either don't have the time to grow or they don't wanna give that time because they wanna play video games. And neither of these are technically bad things, but you have to understand that it's not gonna cut it anymore to not know how to edit a video. It's not gonna cut it anymore to not know how to make a thumbnail. It's not gonna cut it anymore to not be able to do these things that you're creating a business based on a foundation where you can't even do all of the things in the foundation. You have to learn how to do this stuff. And it's very accessible. There is all kinds of websites that teach you how to do these things. You could even do it on YouTube for 100% for free. Go on YouTube, there's a million Literally a million tutorials on how to edit videos, how to make thumbnails, um, how to make streaming easier when it comes to like OBS setups and how to not make your stream lag and, and all of these different things. So the, the stuff is there. It's just actually putting the time in to learn it. When I first started learning, I was watching maybe an hour a day on how to learn how to edit videos. And then I started watching like half an hour to an hour a day on how to make thumbnails and I kept practicing over and over. I didn't drop my first thumbnail until I probably made over 20 thumbnails, maybe even more, because I'm like learning the craft, right? So I'm practicing and I'm practicing and I'm getting that muscle memory and I'm getting more knowledge, I'm getting more comfortable as I go. So it's gonna take time. It's not gonna be something that's just gonna happen overnight. The other thing is I hear people say a lot, they wanna go full time, but they don't wanna make a Twitter, they don't wanna make an Instagram, they don't wanna make a YouTube. That's just not gonna cut it anymore. You need to be on discoverable platforms outside of Twitch or Mixer or whatever you're streaming on to bring your audience to your live stream. Hitting just streaming is not going to work. It's going to work to get you eventual growth where you're been streaming now for three years and you have 300 people following you, which I'm not bagging on these numbers, but what I'm saying is you can do this quicker and more efficiently. So you need to work smarter and not harder. And the thing is too, is like, you're gonna get frustrated. You're gonna get frustrated that you're growing slow, that your friends are passing you up and all of these other things, but you don't have to be frustrated. You just need to know that if you put a solid effort into learning some of these social media algorithms, which you can also find on YouTube, um, and actually growing a presence on these different platforms, it's gonna be a lot easier to pull those people onto your streaming platform and grow that way. If you wanna go full time, you just need to understand that it's not about luck, it's about hard work. It's about putting in the time and reaping the reward. That's that's really what it's about. Um, you can't keep expecting everybody, all of your friends who are graphic designers, to keep making you um, graphic, you know, banners and making your stuff. You need to either learn how to do it or pay someone who knows how to do it. And for those of you who are upcoming streamers, I don't recommend spending thousands of dollars on creating an amazing stream that still nobody is watching. So. It's better if you learn the craft, and not only that, but I'm just gonna say something real quick about editing videos. The reason why I would recommend editing your own videos and making your own thumbnails is because there is a perspective that you have that nobody else will have that you can bring to your channel. And in the beginning, if you have people editing your first videos and editing your first thumbnails, you're not really gonna have a, you're not gonna be really be able to put out that vision onto the platform because somebody else's ideas, somebody else's vision is what is actually being used to make your stuff. So either be in contact with the person making your stuff and have like a connection where you guys understand what you actually want to go forth or learn how to do it yourself. And guys, it's not that I'm against having people do your stuff, having people edit your videos if you have the money, having people make your thumbnails. Um, but what you need to understand is you cannot rely on other people for you to continue moving forward with this eventual 
a future, eventual, <laughs> with this future business. And you need to be self-dependent so that if, yeah, you can have people doing stuff for you, but if they're not there to do stuff for you, you can't be stuck. You can't be like, well, I can't make content for two months because the person who edits my videos is has a life crisis and can't edit videos right now, or their computer shut down, or there's so many things that could happen and you can't let that affect your brand. You need to know how to do this stuff and be able to do this stuff so that nothing is going to stop you from growing. I don't want you guys to be frustrated. I don't want you guys to quit. I don't want you guys to be bitter about all the people around you who are currently growing because they're doing things. They're putting in time to grow other places and then come back to their stream where they have those people coming and hanging out. You can do this. I believe in you. I know that you can succeed in creating a presence outside of your streaming platform. Down below, I'm gonna link some channels that have really helped me, and I know that they'll really help you guys. There's no more excuses. It's time to get online, whether it's YouTube or anywhere else, and take a class or watch some videos, learn a new craft, get something that you can put in your arsenal that will continue to help you make amazing content that people will not be able to turn their head away from. They are gonna see you on Twitter and be like, boom, I need to get into his channel. I need to watch more of this. I, I, this, this is just so good, I just, I just need more. If this video helped you guys and you guys felt like you got something out of this video, a like for the channel will go a long way. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more content like this and hit the little bell when you want to be if you want to be notified when our videos go live. And by our, I mean mine. <laughs> we are also on Twitch Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. PST. Grab some caffeine and come hang out. You're going to have a lot of fun because I'm going to have a lot of fun. So even if you don't have a lot of fun, I, I, I don't know, I have no idea. I, I had something that I was gonna say and it just completely, it completely slipped my mind, but come to the stream. I literally, I literally went blank there, but come hang out in the stream, that, that's all. <laughs> I love you guys, I know you guys will continue to grow. Um, thank you guys so much for being here, I hope you guys are very blessed. I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, depending on where you're at in the world, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.